In investigating homicides, there are some very obvious ritualistic markings that will appear on a body that is the result of satanic killings. But some of the markings are a little more subtle. And so what we're going to do is give you an illustration of this on our model and also retrace some of the markings that were in the St. Joseph's case. You'll note on our model that there's oftentimes a cut that goes from behind the ear all the way down to the throat. You'll also notice that on the carotid, this right here would be cut where the blood would have been drained. And oftentimes there's wax laid on it to cover it up afterwards, after the body um, has uh, deceased. They will also put wax over the eyelids after they're deceased, and so those would be some of the head markings that would indicate a ritualistic killing. Another area that's obvious in these kinds of ritualistic carvings would be the pentagram or the inverted pentagram on the right and the left side of the upper chest. This oftentimes is the signature of the high priest. Another area that you might find satanic ritual carving is in the stomach area. And as was true in the St. Joseph's case, the pentagram or the inverted pentagram was carved right here in his abdomen area. And you'll note again the points representing again the goat's head. Another area we'll want to note is the foot area. And right here behind the ankle bone, there is oftentimes an incision, just as our markings would indicate. And beyond that, on the bottom of the foot, they will sometimes cut the flesh and peel it back. And so you'll also note that. Another thing that is oftentimes done in ritualistic homicides is a penis is placed inside the mouth of the deceased person. Now, as you look at the body of a person such as this, please note each and every one of these markings. You might just see one of the markings. It could be just the carotid, or it might be just the marks behind the ankle, or as obvious as the pentagram. But whatever it is, if you look just a little bit deeper, ask a few more questions, and note to the investigators more information, it could lead to the solution of other crimes that have been just passively sitting on the desk without any clues.